the children of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could play a larger role within the royal family in the future, a royal expert has suggested. Prince Archie Harrison and Princess Lilibet Diana had new titles confirmed in March, when the palace allowed their children be styled as prince and princess going forward. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex pointed out in a statement that the children are entitled to use their titles by birthright. Archie and Lilibet became eligible after the king ascended the throne in September but no official decision was taken until after the princess's christening. Royal editor Russell Myers suggested their new status could leave the door open to the Sussex children to take on a role within the royal family later in life. Myers said, Harry said himself that he found princely titles, those sort of associations with the monarchy, very, very burdensome so it remains to be seen what role they will have with the royal family. Maybe moving forward they will have a larger role to play but certainly for Meghan and Harry this needs to be a period of calm and try a bit of breathing space. Speaking to Sky News Australia, the royal editor reiterated the inconsistency in the couple's decision to have Archie and Lilibet use the titles of prince and princess when they could have simply followed royal precedent. He said, it's a complete contradiction that Harry and Meghan had, through members of their friendly media said pretty much that they didn't want titles for the children. And here we are, just a few weeks ago they negotiated these prince and princess titles for their children. Of course, they were entitled to those roles but Harry and Meghan could have decided to go the other way members of the royal family certainly Princess Anne, the Earl and Countess of Wessex didn't choose those roles for their children. What does it mean for them? While Anne's children, Peter Phillips and Zara Tyndall, were not automatically eligible to royal titles as they are descendants of a monarch in the female line, the late Queen reportedly offered to grant them princely status at birth but she was refused. Prince Edward and Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh's children, however, would have had the right to be known as Princess Louise and Prince James had their parents not decided to forego the princely titles and HRH style. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh's children are therefore known as Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor and James, the Earl of Wessex. Friends close to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex claimed the couple's decision was linked to their desire to guarantee their children would receive high levels of protection. One insider claimed the pair engaged in tense negotiations with the palace to ensure Archie and Lilibet would be allowed to use their titles. Harry and Meghan were worried about the security issue and that being prince and princess brings them the right to have certain levels of royal security. They told the son, hey can be prince and princess but not HRH because they are not working royals. Follow our social media accounts here on facebook.com slash expressusnews and at expressusnews.